earlier when uh, when she was alive, maybe who is Gauri Lankesh was the question. Now it is what is Gauri Lankesh? It's become the norm all over. Tuesday, I came to give her dinner, and she was with some couple people, and I had to rush off the studio. So I just left the dinner on the table, and I said, "I'll catch you later." And the next thing I know, I play badminton near, very near to her house, three to four days a week. So I went there, and I was returning, and my mom called me, saying, um, "Gauri has fallen down, I believe. Uh, just go and check what's happened." I reversed the car and I don't know, there's some kind of fear because her health, I told you, she's not looking, I don't know whether this, did she get invested low blood pressure, did she have something like that, was it a heart attack or what happened or is it just minor, maybe she's just stumbled and fallen or something's hurt. So all kinds of speculation in her mind. But by the time I turn almost near a house, one road away, a TV anchor guy calls me and says, Madam, there's some shooting, I believe. I still thought maybe they have tried to shoot her, maybe leg, something. No? Only then I go there and then the police had already come and they said no. I mean I kept asking what happened, what happened and they are not telling me. Finally somebody had to say I am her sister, please tell and that's when they said she's gone. I mean I really collapsed, I couldn't believe it could come to this kind of thing. But it can be very painful. For instance, when they show the pattern of a gun which goes from like in somebody's body and this body and they show it, it's like surreal. You, you, you don't, you can't connect it for a second. You know, then you realize it's through your sister's body, this is happening in your sister's body. My daughter said, can we kill him? <laughs> said no, it's, what's the difference between you and him then? And actually I was... I was sick, kind of sick of their ideology of whatever. Afterwards of course it came up that he still wanted to do because of his saving the dharma and all that. And I really thought he's misguided and he's young. I mean they don't come over with a very well-off family. I pitied their family actually. My daughter disagrees with me, saying why should you, he's a killer. But I think the people behind it who have motivated are now continuing to motivate people across. Any stage you give them a platform and they're talking about uh, let's do a build a Hindu Rashtra, let's do this, let's do that, kind of breaking up and dividing people, they should all be put behind bars and question. Even when we were young, I remember. We were not that very rich. Uh, we lived a very, actually, lower middle class uh, family. And my father was a lecturer and my mother was scrounging to make ends meet. And uh, that time also when uh, my mother actually started a sari shop to keep the family going. And that time also when my father finally started his paper, and though without advertisement, through circulation itself, some money started coming into the family, you know, which saw some money without worrying about how do we pay school fees and all that. So that time my father would give us a blank check to Premier Bookshop. There's a very, there was a very cute, uh, you know, typical bookshop where if you touch one stand, files of book would fall on you. So it was a beautiful bookshop with an uh, owner called Shanbag. So my father was a regular customer there. So he would give us a check and say, go buy whichever books you want and give the check to him. So he would not worry about whether we got new clothes, uh, anything like that, but books, he was always very generous. My mother was very clear that either of us, you know, that was the two careers, either doctor or engineer. So none of us were inclined very academically that way, I think. So she was wanted Gauri to be a doctor and Gauri refu absolutely refused to. And in fact, uh, the next other be better option was my mom thought, let her at least marry a doctor. So she got, <laughs> you know, a prospective guy came from Shimoga, small town and 
he was supposed to come couple days later and gauri that time had this long beautiful hair and uh, on the day he was supposed to come night before that she goes to a local parlor and just chops off her head to a pop cut proper boy cut a boy cut and they were furious at her in spite of her short hair he liked her very much he agreed to marry her gauri was then again very furious none of us knew she was already in love so then she went and told the guy straight off saying look i'm in love so i can't marry you so then he had to go back uh, the prospective groom and then gauri revealed to my father and all that she was in love with chidanand rajgatta and i mean i think in many ways gauri opened up uh, being a rebel in many ways she opened up many avenues for me i think in that way Cons- i mean my parents were much more lenient towards us probably because she fought so much for independence for i mean being in love to everything including her career for instance I love her still. <laughs> Nothing. No. Ah, uh, she lived her life. I think. I don't think anything. I would like her to be changed. She would say, "You don't go out. Don't meet people and all." So now she's making me do all that. <laughs> she's making me all kinds of people. She's making me stand on public forums, talk over politics. So yeah, I curse her sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> You why is it doing all this on my head? Because <laughs> my life is different and it's changing. It's becoming. Uh, but I have to get it in order soon. I think earlier when uh, when she was alive, maybe who is Gauri Lankesh was a question. Now it is what is Gauri Lankesh? It's become the norm all over. I don't know. And then um, Gauri the reader book which Chandan Gowda wrote. There's one lady who a writer writes who walked about. 30 kilometers to some lonely bus stop not a big city or anything small town she stood saying i'm gauri with a placard for half a day then she went somewhere else and stood again silently alone i'm gauri so i think that's about some sit up what gauri was because w- what is that lady's connection with gauri in that way you know somewhere far off some remote place in karnataka suddenly coming to a small corner of a you know a circle and standing there spending the whole day and walking i think that way she is inspired a lot and these kind of stories i've heard many from chennai a handicapped person in a wheelchair suddenly i'm gauri you know it's a lot of people have kind of support and awaken and been with her and with us in, in indirectly so that gives us the support to go on i think